welcome back to my youtube channel please subscribe if you haven't my near rape ordeal so there was this one time my parents left for our village home to attend a funeral and we were left under care under the care of um, one of our relatives who stayed with us for a long time we had a shop and we used to like run it because my parents were busy so um if you know we guys used to live at a place called kisi campus that's the current kisi university but by then it was constituent college of Egerton or is it Egerton whichever yeah so yeah so we used to live at that place annex the current annex the dispensary that dispensary was where we used to live and it was a beautiful place that place holds most of my childhood memories then it had a sitting room and then a small dining area then it had a kitchen and a store then there were two bedrooms the master bedroom and that other bedroom the extra one so my brothers and we are we are five but by that time we were four so my brothers and i my brothers and us the girls used to sleep in the same room though we had two different beds so two of them used to share one bed and us we share the other one. Now for the boys, they were sleeping at the far corner. I don't know why. Normally it's girls who sleep Ukoko corner because it's kind of safe. People say it's safe. Yeah. So um they used to sleep near the wall, Ukoko corner, and then us the girls who used to sleep just near the door. There were washrooms in those houses. So this time we were left alone under the care of our uncle but it's not like not immediate uncle but yeah it's a relative the reason why i'm narrating this is because currently yeah i have a child and i realize how it is important how much it is important to keep her safe because you may be thinking these pedophiles are just out there in the streets but they're just living under your roof unknowingly. So yeah, this guy, Alkwameletwa, Toka Gishagi, Saidia Kwa Show. On this night, my parents had traveled. So to Libaki na ye. At night as I, as we were sleeping, it was my sister, it was myself and then my sister. It was myself and then my sister. And then the other bed was my brother, the other bed was my brother, and the other brother. So on this night, we were sleeping at Kawaida. We cooked, first we cooked. After cooking, we went to, the, to sleep. So this guy, he used to sleep in that dining room. There, was a, there were these beds that he would unfold in a kitanda. If you fold in a kuwa kiti, so that's what he used to sleep on. And it was comfortable, actually. So he slept there for oh, almost the whole time he was with us. We, we, the whole time we hosted him. So, um, we can pick up secret, can pick up Zuri, Papula, and then you guys went off to sleep. See, obviously, we had confirmed the doors were locked. It kind of lie. Ufika usiku, I know. Nasikia mtu na niguza guza ina. Funny man. When I was young, I don't know I was in class five or what. Somebody is touching my body. I'm like, who the hell could this be? I'm like, oh, it's my brothers. So I started calling. Brother A. He said, yes. Brother B. Yes. And I was like, oh my goodness, who is in this bed? And he was not relenting. He kept on touching, touching me. And I think my brothers were also scared. They didn't know who the hell could be in that bed. They were like, 
I think you are dreaming. Endelea kulala ni kama unaota. Hakuna vile mtu ongeingia kwa nyumba na tulifunga milango. Hmm. I touched up kando. My sister is asleep. I touched kando my sister is asleep. So I'm like, what? Who could have entered in this bed? And then underneath, underneath our bed, there was this basin that we used to place under underneath the bed. It was wonderful. I used to place it under there with some clothes. And sometimes it would be peeping out kidogo. So this guy, after me, now insisted, Oh, yeah, Pama, kuna mtu wapa kwa kitanga. Kuna mtu wana niguza guza. And my brother was like, my brother was like, Hey, are you sure? So this guy, I think, I felt like, Hey, na is a sheep one. So like, he jumped out. He jumped off the bed. Ilikuwa na net, makiu. Akatoka kwa net, Nikasikia ni kama yo uninio. Yo traf. Ni kama mekanyaga. Then he went. He veered off. Then I heard his bed screeching. Najwa zilikuwa zile vitanda. Zile viti. Ni, ni kiti kitanda. Ineza kuwa kiti. Uki reverse. Ineza kuwa kitanda. And then ilikuwa chuma na sambao. Nikasikia yo bed yake ime screech. Eh, Nikasema. Ah, now I know who was in this bed. Yeah. I know who was in this bed. And then I, I just kept on sleeping. In the morning, in Africa, he was the he, he woke up the first one. He was the earliest to wake up. And then he, he was weeding. Started weeding around the compound. We used to have some plants, ferns. And I don't know if you know how ferns look like. But I hope you know. So I started weeding. We, we actually planted them around the house so that when it rains, Matope isi hit wall ala fucha fuke. The guy we did, it was so clean. And then he was like, Ati mtu alingia kwa nyumba usiku. Muna misi kusikia. That day I think God sent him punishment. As he was reading outside there, he started nose bleeding. He was nose bleeding in kama yogurt. Situ limpata meka hivi. Meka hivi. He was nose bleeding. Mapo ilikuwa inatua tu yoga. I think if, if my brothers were not there, maybe in Siku would have been my worst, one of my worst nights in life. Maybe two years ago, I was like, So you may be harboring someone in your house thinking this is a, like the safest guardian, the best guardian. Kumbe, that is the pedophile. So if you have a child, be it a girl or a boy, stand up for them. Leave them in, in good care. Okay, you can never trust anybody, even your relatives. If you have to travel with them, travel with them. But also, yeah, it's important to create awareness. Because nowadays even boy children, boy child are so dominant. So no child is safe. In those past, in past years, it was girls, girls being raped. But in the current times, even boys are at risk. So when my mother came back, I told her, hey, unajua mtu alingia kwa nyumba, mtu alikuwa wakitanda yangu ni kama alikuwa na nishi. Not ni kama, alikuwa na nishi kajika. And then he's like, ah, are you sure? Akaenda kuulia jirani. Kama it happened also in our house and she was like, oh. Umbe, her children were listening. The next day they came, we were playing. They were asking me, Ati mtu alikuwa na kubuza buza ushiku. I'm telling them, hey, Aji. I'm telling them the way that person was touching me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Those are childhood neighbors and friends like in. Is that what you? Any then they found it like it was fun. That's an indirectio. I think he ingeenda na self-esteem yangu kabisa. Because I was this quiet child. I love my space. In fact, up to today, I love, I really love my space. If that, if that uncle of ours could have done that, I ingeenda na my self-esteem 100%. Because I'm an introvert, I enjoy my space a lot. Then my dad called one of my uncles and he was like, do you know this and this happened? And 
my uncle was like, and you're still keeping him there. For what? This is somebody who almost raped your child. So the day he was being dismissed, and he and talk at all, I think I'll talk on a master. He was like, hey, I've lived with you here for the longest. What, what, what? Anyway, he left. He left at the Mumbani, uh, Good for him. He got a job, a worthy job. He works with the, the Kenya Airports Authority. <laughs> hey, thank God I wasn't tricked. Actually, being under a self esteem, yeah. thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, drop a comment, and also please take care of your young ones. Take care of your children and do not trust everybody under your roof. Just because you have blood, you have blood ties, does not mean they are the safest people to leave your babies with. Till next time, bye, keep safe.